PVC pipe. Uh, over the years, we've found that our soils are acidic enough that you put the metal pipes in and eventually they're going to rust out um, due to the acid in the soil. You know, the just wear and tear of the water running through them. Uh, we put in the PVC pipes and you don't have that, that soil acid working on the pipe. And those pipes have uh, ended up standing up real well for us. They've lasted real well. The other thing is, if you think about it just a little bit, those corrugated metal pipes, uh, it's right in the name, they're corrugated. So it's rough on the inside. So when you're designing for the amount of water that that pipe has to handle, you have to go bigger because of that roughness on the inside. You use a PVC pipe, usually you can drop down a size from what your metal pipe would be. So in a lot of times it's a little bit cheaper to go ahead and use that. Uh, another thing uh, I always strongly recommend, on the pipes, you want to put on what we call a uh, antiseed collar, at least one. And a lot of times you want to put two on. Basically all they are is a flat plate that the pipe goes through the center of. Uh, for a PVC pipe, there's a couple of them, different types that you can use. One is called a butyl rubber antiseed collar. Uh, it's basically made out of a material that's kind of like an inner tube. And you build a two by two wooden frame, staple it to the wooden frame, cut an X in the middle of it, slide the pipe through, put a clamp on it, and it holds it in place. And that keeps the water from running down the outside of the pipe. Um, the ones that we usually recommend are a high density plastic. Um, there's two or three different companies that are making them. It's basically a PVC material, just a flat plate. Uh, you call the company, tell them what size you want, and it comes with fittings that go right around whatever size pipe you're putting in. Clamps down, you put a little bit of, of um, like, it's almost like roof tar around it to help seal it up. Those things work really well. Uh, I actually was out on a pond uh, when the pipe was being installed. Contractor had a skid steer. He had a load of uh, loose soil so that they could dump it on the, you know, next to the uh, uh, antiseed collar to tamp the antiseed collar in. He got over centered. That bucket came down on top of that antiseed collar, bent it double. We got the soil all shoveled out of the, the uh, bucket, got the skid steer stood back up, and that antiseed collar stood right back up, just like it was just perfect. So it told me if they're durable enough to take that, that they're going to stand up and do a lot of good. Uh,